cooking call. Hi folks, uh, welcome back to COVID cooking, uh, home cooking post the new normal. Uh, today I'm going to cook Balinese corn fritters. So I got fresh corn, it's really really nice uh, and if you can get fresh corn you can get it from the supermarket, uh, frozen corn kernel or corn on the cob that will be work perfectly fine. So enough cooking, let's start cooking. Uh, before doing anything else, we need to uh, peel the corn husk first. Here we are. Just split it here, like, like that. See that? Yeah. And then, what? Next is to clean all the hair from the corn so it's nice and clean like that here we are here we are uh, we're taking the corn from the corpse so if you're using frozen corn kernel and then you don't have to worry about this kind of job here we go okay the corn uh, kernels are ready. Uh, now we put it aside and prepare uh, for the spices. Now, the spices uh, you need for corn fritters are roughly chopped shallot, roughly chopped garlic, roughly chopped ginger, red chili, and roughly chopped kanchur or white ginger and a palm sugar so we just need to chop them rough because these spices will be going through the blender okay here we are the spices gone through the food processor just pulse it not really really fine just uh, a couple pulse on the food processor and that's it okay next one is to pulse the corn kernel so you do need uh, really fine just roughly pulse uh, on the food processor bzz, bzz, three times that's it done okay here yeah the corn kernel have been uh, gone through the food processor just pulses here we are you still can see the corn not too fine just rough next Salt and pepper. Uh, add roughly chopped large chili, uh, Asian large chili. That's not too spicy, uh, but if you can get that, uh, you can substitute with uh, jalapeno chili. Here we are. And then we add flour. Uh, this one is rice flour about three dessert spoon hip dessert spoon like that and then we give a a good mix if you can get rice flour any flour will do like a wheat flour a normal flour that that's fine just and then we add about a dessert spoon and a half fish sauce but if you want to be a vegetarian uh, and just leave the fish sauce out so that's become really nice a vegetarian nibbles and I give a good stir again next one is kaffir lime leaves finely chopped but not so fine there we go this will be give uh, a freshness into the corn cake or corn fritters. Last, egg, just one egg. A 
and give a good mix. Make sure all the ingredients incorporated evenly. So here we are. The corn fritters mix ready to fry. Okay, hit the pan into medium heat and then add a decent amount of cooking oil about 10 decent spoon of cooking oil okay when well the pan already hot um, just use your dessert spoon and drop your corn fritters mix like that the thinner your corn fritters the quicker it's cooked and you don't have to worry about the raw corn inside make sure you don't overcrowd your wok or frying pan because it can change the temperature you only need to turn the corn fritter once so after about a minute, that's a good idea to turn. So yeah. Look at that. And cook for the, a minute or so on the other side. Here we are. The corn fritter. Yeah. Here we are. Uh, the corn cake is done so now just need to arrange on the plate like so 